In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily deploy Excel Wings tools by creating one-click installers. Note that this functionality requires a subscription to one of our paid plans. So you will get access to a private GitHub repository where you can build your one-click installer. And usually you only need to edit the requirements.txt file. So let's assume that we are going to bump the version of Excel Wings and add Pandas as a dependency. So you can click on this pencil here to edit the file and then we're going to bump this up to 23.4 and we're going to introduce a Pandas dependency. Now to figure out which dependency or which version you have, you can run this command here, which is pip list dash dash format freeze. And this will give you back in, in the format that the requirements txt expects it, the your dependencies with the version numbers. For this case, I'm just going to copy pandas, but uh, you may actually want to use more of these sub dependencies. That's a bit up to you. I'm fine with just pinning the high level dependencies for now, as the installer eventually will grab the latest versions of the sub dependencies. And, and you know, in the case of pandas, that would, for example, be NumPy and use the latest version in the installer. So if you wanted to have a specific version of NumPy, you should also pin the NumPy version here. But that's all I want to change this time. I commit those changes and this is now my requirements file. So the only thing left is to here click on releases then click on create new release and then type in a version tag here. I'm going to call that 100 and click on publish release. I have by the way called this repository Excellence Reporting so just to mimic a project that would be about reporting but you can call it anything that makes sense in your environment. Also bear in mind one installer can actually serve a lot of different workbooks and we will get to that in just a second. Now once you have added this version tag and, uh, and clicked the publish release button uh, you will see this immediately coming up here but it will actually take a couple of minutes until the installer will then finally show up below here. So you can always go to the action actions tab here and follow the pipeline as it's being built. And as, as long as you see it uh, running here in, in a yellow color, it's still building. So you, you know, want to come back in a couple of minutes and then actually go back to your release tab. Now that's done, you can instantly go back here to the release tab and now you will see that the installer has appeared and so you can download it directly from here and install it locally. So once you have downloaded the application installer, you can actually install it on your device. It doesn't interfere with any other existing uh, Python installation. So uh, it'll just make it much easier to confirm that everything has been set up correctly on the side of the workbook. Uh, it depends a little bit on how much you have included in the installer, uh, but this one here is uh, pretty, pretty slick, so it, it should be fast only contains Python, Excel Wings and, and Pandas. And as you can see, um, we're already done. And so that's precisely the procedure that the end user will have to go through. And now um, I have prepared here like a simple quick start example, as you can see, uh, a demo folder. And, and, and this is how, how the file looks like. So I could uh, you, you know, use this uh, standard hello world that comes with the uh, the quick start sample, but what I'm 
going to do now is really run the Excel wings release command on that uh, project here. So first of all, just make sure that this is your active uh, workbook, the one that you want to release. And so uh, we're going to say Excel wings release and just make sure that in, in, in the uh, Python distribution that you locally use, that is your main Python distribution, you use the same Excel wings version as you have used in your um, installer that we previously built. And so uh, you run the Excel wings release command here. And the first thing, as you will see, is it prints the Excel wings version. So this here is for you to verify that indeed this here is the same version as we previously pinned on the requirements.txt file on the GitHub repository. So in, in, in the name here for the one click installer, I want to introduce what the name of my installer is. So in my case, this is Excel Wings Reporting. Then I'm going to um, answer all of the following questions that, by the way, are only going to be asked if this is the very first time that you're setting up this project. So I'm going to uh, you know, answer all of these questions by accepting the default. The default is here in, in, in uh, denoted as, as capitalized a letter here. So I'm just going to press enter to all of these questions because yes, I do want to have the Python code embedded. What we by default have here sitting in, in, in the same folder, if we just, you know, create a, a quick start project, then I do want to hide these um, configuration file or these configuration sheet by default. I do want to hide my embedded uh, Python code. And I also do want to have to turn into uh, I want to turn into a standalone version, which means that the recipients they will not need to install or uh, the Excel Wings add-in or have the Excel Wings add-in somehow available, which makes um, a much much easier experience on on their end. So they just really need to run the the, the installer that we saw before, and then. Uh, they are done. So I'm gonna say all questions, um, answer all questions with yes. And um, here again, double check to make sure we're manipulating the, the correct version, the correct file here. So I do want to uh, manipulate demo XLSM. So I again can continue by pressing the enter key. Subsequently, we'll get a, a summary of, of what the, the command here is doing. And in the end, it'll check for the version of Excel Wings here in, in the VBA component um, that was being added in the previous step here with the version of Excel Wings you have in your uh, distributable installer. And so if everything is looking fine, then you will get this success message here at the end. Now, since we do not want people to have an Excel Wings, in, uh, an Excel Wings add in, we definitely want to make sure that they can either use user defined functions or if you um, use their own Python calls, you will need to, to give them a button and make whatever calls you are using available through these buttons. And so if everything went correctly, then that is now running properly using that um, Excel Wings installer we used, uh, we installed previously. Now, just to, to show you what's been going on, 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 you know, in the back is it added a couple of sheets here, uh, mainly two sheets. We can just right click on the tab and say unhide, and then we can make them appear again. What it did is basically it properly uh, configures the interpreter to use the one that will be installed with our installer. It um, adds a deploy key here, which means that your recipients don't need to have any active paid um, Excel Wings subscription. And also the tool will not expire. So um, 
that is also automatically being taken care of. And uh, these are basically the, the decisions that you answered here by going through this, um, the, the questionnaire here at the beginning. So like if you, um, if, if you do now um, rerun this, this command here, then um, you will not be asked the questions anymore. You just have to confirm that, you know, this is the file that you want to release again. And you will see according to, to the configuration, these sheets are being hidden again. So like if, if you wanted to change that, if you wanted to, let's say, um, not hide the configuration sheet, then you can also just set this to false. And when you re-release such a tool, then only the code sheets will be uh, hidden again. So uh, that is sort of um, how it's really easy to update an Excel spreadsheet. Um, always rerun the, the release command whenever you change some of the you know the source code here then you definitely want to rerun that release command because then it updates the embedded code you also want to run a, re a release again if you change the installer so let's say you upgrade the excel wings version in the installer then you definitely need to rerun the release command or otherwise um, the license key will not work and that's pretty much it. So if you for now just wanted to um, use the uh, the local external file with your Python code, then just do on hide and uh, delete that sheet or, or call it some something differently so it doesn't have a .py ending. And um, that will then again read in the code uh, that you may have externally stored. But other than that, if you have run the release command, then you are able to uh, literally just give that uh, installer to your recipients and the uh, Excel file. And that's about it. And as I said in, in, the, in the first part of the, of the video tutorial, uh, you can create a lots of different Excel workbooks that all are targeted towards the same uh, installer and so you just need to make sure to always put in the name of your installer when you set up a new workbook and in that sense um, you don't have to necessarily uh, give the, the recipients a separate installer for every Excel Wings tool you're building.